what's up, guys? We are back again to find the strongest log bait deck in Clash Royale by testing two top ladder decks. First up, we're gonna have a faster cycle with Cannon and Dark Goblin to deal a ton of damage and to outpace all of your opponent's counters. Because Balloon got popped by the latest balance changes and got thrown to the trash, it has to two-tap cannons now. So that opened up the possibilities of running cannon in so many more decks. Especially in fast cycle decks like this one, if you can get more positive oyster trades, that means there's more goblin barrels that you can throw at your opponent's tower. And the second deck is this log bait Tesla variation with Princess, and it's been played at over 8,400 trophies. This one's a little bit more of a traditional experience. Being annoying with your princesses at the river, goblin barrels on your opponent's towers, and of course, rocket cycle to finish off the game. It's also gonna have a little bit more of a steady defense against people that maybe have a Lava Hound Balloon deck or clone decks that you need anti-air answers with. So you're gonna be paying a bit more elixir for the anti-air answers of the Tesla and the princess to squash any clone decks. Both of these decks have been played by the best players in the world at top ladder. So let's go jump straight to some games and figure out which one works the best for us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a massive thanks to everyone that's using Creative Code Surtag, making daily videos like this one possible. All right, guys, we are cannoning into our very first game, and we're going to see if cannon works out well. I mean, without balloon being a threat that we have to worry about, the cannon actually will take two shots to finish off with the balloon. It seems like a much better, reliable defensive structure than ever before. So we're going to get positive list trades against Hog Riders, Ram Riders, Giants. No matter what my opponent throws at me, I think Cannon's going to be a lot better than most of the other cards, except playing against a Lava Hand Balloon deck. That's the only thing that scares me, is if they have a little bit of a tank ahead of the balloon, that's uh, going to be problematic for me. I can't just rocket it out like I would with a Lumberjack Balloon push. So this guy's maybe actually going to be running that. I was, I was a little bit scared. And here we go. This is this is what I wanted to test it against. Can we beat someone that has the most difficult matchup for me? I really wanted to end up having either an Inferno Tower or Tesla into someone that's going to have a Lava Hound Balloon deck. But here we go. Let's test the waters. Put Electro Spirit here. Maybe we can chain onto the minions and finish those off without any damage. And I can go in for a Valkyrie in the right-hand side because I don't want to give him counter push in the lane that he's already going to be going in. We go for... Yeah, uh, the guards are going to come down from our opponent. I kind of want to log on that because we're going to be able to one-tap them with the Valkyrie then. We can get the Valkyrie onto the tower. That's a much better win condition than dropping a Goblin Barrel into our opponent's guards. So we make the prediction knowing that he knew that I was going to go for a Goblin Barrel and we didn't fall for his trap card. So the people that are better at the game are going to deduce, okay, this is looking like a log bait deck. I've played against this at top ladder. I've seen top ladder players play it. So therefore, I'm going to make the assumption that I need to drop my guards in the back. And uh, I'm glad that we outplayed him there. Maybe go for a Valkyrie at the river again because the guard should be his only reliable answer. Okay, new terms and conditions from Apple. I don't care about that. We're playing on our own terms here with the Valkyrie at the river. We dictate the future, not you, Apple. I'm going to go in for the Dark Goblin and try to snipe his remaining units in the middle. Whether it's a Tombstone, Minions, or Guards, we should be able to pop off with some delicious damage from that Dark Goblin. Yo, and now since he doesn't have Guards in Cycle, I might be able to win this interaction with an Electro Spirit to stun the Mega Minion. Let's go! Daryl the Dark Goblin is popping off. Is there some way that I can win this matchup? Because that would make me so happy. That would make me ecstatic. Okay, so if I rock it, that's just a, a losing play. Can't make that happen. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a log when that's low enough that I can finish it off. So that's what I'm going to vibe with. We're going to get him to Fireball on the Dark Goblin early. And then the Valkyrie will go straight towards the tower. I'm going to go for a Goblin Barrel here as well. He's going to Fireball on it exactly as we anticipated. I need to go in for a Cannon here. Try to get guards down and then cycle back to another cannon if possible. Ooh, wow, this is really spicy. Wow, this has gotten extra spicy out here. Not a huge fan of this. If I don't get the Valkyrie down, I'm screwed. But am I am I screwed anyway? I don't know if I can kill the balloon in time with the Dark Goblin locking on. This is looking decent, but we need it a lot better than that. I'm going to rock it. Hopefully we can hit. All the pups. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing timing. Let's go, guys! If I can win this game, then I'll be so happy. Like, this is such a tough one. I'm gonna go in for a Dark Goblin. Oh, I don't even need to! Let's go! <laughs> that rocket gave us insane value. Probably the best rocket of my life. I gotta be honest here, though. I, I don't think I should win that matchup, and I got a little bit lucky. We'll bounce on to the next one, and we'll continue to test the cannon. All right, on to the next one. We really gotta put cannon to the test today. And I feel like it's one of the best cards that people are just sleeping on. Especially after Balloon gets destroyed by cannon. And after we were actually able to triumph over a Lava Hound plus Balloon deck, you know, I think this is uh, something that people should be taking more of a look at. 
I could rock it right now, but I'm not going to go and spend all that elixir after I've already dropped guards at the river and went in for my Valkyrie. It does not seem like a good interaction for me if I do that. Electric Spirit, and I'll get a cannon down. Ooh, he thought I was going to Goblin Gang, so he preemptively went for a Fireball to be a baller. If I went for a Goblin Gang right then and there, I would have lost the game, but I don't even have it in my deck, so... Yeah, the joke's on you. I'm not allowed to be a bad player because I don't even have the card. Okay, I can go in for a Valkyrie and a Goblin Barrel here, and if you're playing against a Bridge Band Warrior, and you've got Cannon, I feel like this is the matchup that you would want most of the time. Over having, like, an Inferno Tower or a Tesla, you're going to get better interactions and better Elixir trades with a Cannon because it's cheaper. I like that a lot more. I'm going to go for a Log and a Dark Goblin. Two Dark Goblin hits on top of the Magic Archer will finish it off if they can target it. One more. Yes, sir. You win! Oh, it didn't happen! Yo, I feel like I got robbed a little bit. One Log plus two Dark Goblin hits kills the Magic Archer. Two Logs also finish off a Magic Archer. So in the late game, you guys might see me starting to cycle double Logs on top of Magic Archers to finish it off. That's really fun to do if they cycle it in the back, like in front of their tower. Most of the time, they're going to cycle it there, and they're not going to be bad in cycling the far back because then I would just rocket it. Most of the time, they could cycle it here, and then I could log once and then cycle back to another log and get back to a Goblin Barrel too, and that's uh, it's always going to be pretty successful. Well, 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 well. Yeah, if you want to go in for a P.E.K.K.A., that is free real estate for me for that rocket. I like that a lot. Juicy interactions every single day. And I want to see the Magic Archer, man. I really want to see that Magic Archer cycled. I'm going to go for a Goblin Barrel here. Wait and see if he's going to go for the Magic Archer or not. I will log. Try to get a cheaper Elixir cycle. And he's going to all in me. Yeah, so this is one of those moments that I needed to just separate most of his stuff. And if I can, I can walk away the win. Look at how much Elixir he spent, and he still wasn't able to break through. Isn't that rather absurd? Like, he ate all of that damage from the Goblin Barrel, and it still wasn't enough. The Cannon's going to be able to defend and take the targeting from the Magic Archer. And I think this is a testament to show you guys that you don't even have to play that well when you're running Cannon. I think I did overcommit, but since I'm running Log Bait into a Bridge Fan player, and I've got Cannon for a cheaper Elixir defense, I will be able to defend almost any push that you throw at me. You're going to go in for a P.E.K.K.A. at the river. You're going to spam more stuff. I've got Log, and I've got Electric Spirit to reset whatever you're charging at me with. So yeah, it's totally a vibe. I'm going to get that Electric Spirit down. It's going to chain onto our opponent's stuff. In fact, we're going to keep the cannon alive off to the side, and he's going to go for a Magic Archer. Let's predict it with a cannon. No, he just gave up. He didn't want to go for the Magic Archer. <laughs> well, GG. Well played, and peace out, buddy. I would probably give up, too. This matchup is unwinnable for you. Even when he played as well as he possibly could, ignoring the Goblin Barrel that he knew he couldn't defend, taking his only opportunity to break through, it still wasn't enough. The defenses are rock solid with cannon, guards, and electric spirit. Anything that your opponent throws at you is just going to get reset and bounced back by the log and electric spirit and stopped in its tracks by the guards and cannon. This one, it's got Tesla. It should be a lot easier to defend Bridge Bam that has air units in it. Whether it's going to be a Lava Hound Balloon deck or it's going to be some annoying person with bats and clone, we are ready to moon to the value with the cloned up counters. Electric Spirit is going to be super nice to be able to protect our princess and make sure the Dark Goblin doesn't lock onto us. Oh, wow. Wow, the princess. Oh, I was hoping that she would be able to finish off the Dark Goblin there. It is what it is. I can log and clean up the Dark Goblin and the cannon card at once. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. And I think he's going to have log bait as well. I expect this to be a log bait deck. He's going to have Snowball instead, so he's going to have the variation without a building. Most of the time, they're going to have cannon cart and prince, so I have to be geared up and ready to defend with my guards. Also, because he doesn't have log, it is imperative that I go and cycle as many princesses in the back as possible. Oh, wait. I thought this deck was something else. I was sorely and gravely mistaken. So he should cannon cart and finish off the guards and uh, the Valkyrie. Ooh, can we get the Electric Spirit down? Please. Take and bake, baby. Get that Valkyrie onto the tower. Make me a proud sir. Oh, log for days. Yes, sirs. That's beautiful. Two princesses to clean up. I know that I'm going to sacrifice a princess here, but it is what it is. I didn't want to eat the Dark Goblin damage. Can we get that to bounce back the cannon cart? Yes, we can. Awesome. This game has been super stellar so far. Guards are going to give us some counter push as well to give us some cheeky chip damage as well. And with them tanking for the Goblin Barrel, I'm going to get even more damage. I'm going to snowball. I think that I get at least two hits on the tower. Beautiful start to this game. Usually, when your opponent doesn't have any way of killing your princesses, you cycle them in the back. If they're going to have a method of doing so with, like, 
either a log or arrows. It's better if you to drop them at the river and guarantee the chip damage that you can get. Like, into expo players. I will be cycling princesses at the river 24-7, 365. But if I'm playing against someone like this, got minor snowball, I'm just going to keep cycling that in the back and be the most annoying sir on this planet. Love doing it. Okay, so I'm going to cycle my princess again, as I said before. Pretty nice to do. I can go in for Electric Spirit here. I don't know if I need to get a Valkyrie down or not. Yeah, I, I do. I do need to get that Valkyrie down. Because that Dark Goblin would pop off and do too much damage to me today. You know what? He hasn't seen a Princess Cycle to the river the entire game. So I might want to switch it up and spice it up a little bit. Usually I wouldn't do this. But in this specific interaction, he was not expecting the Princess of the River. And I can keep the other Princess alive with... So beautiful, beautiful stuff. He might even minor on the princess. No, he minors on the other side. He's perpetually been doing that. He hasn't been switching up his game plan once. Okay, so are you going to go in for anything to counter this? You're going to have to go for skeletons and then a dark goblin. And the princess will definitely lock him into the tower too. Look at that. That's insane. He's going to have to cycle back to another cannon cart. But at the exact same time, we keep up the princess cycle. So I think that princess is definitely better in dark goblin if your opponent doesn't have a log. But if your opponent has log, it's hit or miss. Either the princess is going to be one of the best cards in the game, or she's not going to be that great. The Dark Goblin consistently gives you value no matter the situation, no matter the matchup. Before your opponent logs, you're probably still going to get value from the card. Also, that might be enough for two logs and a rocket. No, I need, uh, I need two logs and a rocket from this point on. But I don't think it's going to be that problematic. I'm going to go in for a Valkyrie here. Just need to stop the Spear Goblins because the Miner heals my tower. It does not do enough damage. Going to go for the Goblin Barrel plus the Electric Spirit. If I can have something tanking for the Goblin Barrel, we'll get some extra damage because the Snowball won't be able to deny everything now. And I should walk away the win with this Rocket. So GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. It was a pleasure playing against you and stealing your trophies. On to the next game, guys. Let's get that bread. These games have been so much fun today, especially if I can get multiple princesses on the map like the last one. I want to see if we can level up our princess game and get three of them on the field. We got two last game. I think we can do a little bit more. Okay, playing against Dark Prince. Maybe it's going to be a graveyard deck. Maybe it's just going to be a bridge spam cycler with Pekka. Ooh, no. No, you weren't supposed to have arrows. That wasn't supposed to be part of the plan. Okay, we're actually going to get a bit of a test right now. It was really easy last time because our opponent only had Snowball. And if you don't have Log against Log Bait, how are you even supposed to do anything to us? Like, we, we don't have a Log to bait out. We just take the trophies from you immediately. Game was over before it even started. But this one, our opponent's going to have Arrows and Snowball, a giant graveyard player. Probably going to be one of the most tough matchups imaginable for our deck. Oh, here we go. A true testament of our skill. Can we make it happen? Definitely want to make sure that that uh, is going to die if possible. I'm going to go in for guards early on and then get a Valkyrie down here just to apply aggression. You know, if we can get him to go in for arrows and then... Ooh, this is really bad if the princess doesn't lock back. The, prin the princess did not lock back onto the minions. What are you doing, princess? You had one job. Okay. So I got to be honest with you guys, I thought that the princess was going to lock on the minions. It shows you if you make one slight slip up against Giant Graveyard, you're just going to lose your trophies. It is what it is. We bounce on the next one. All right. We got a game against Goku. We got to bounce back after that terrible defeat against Giant Graveyard. And you guys already know I'm just going to cycle my log. Let my opponent know, hey, you can cycle your log too. If you do, I'll go for a Goblin player on your tower. Most of the time, your opponent is just going to be a copycat. They see one of your plays and they're like, oh, I can do the same thing. And obviously, if they're playing against log bait and they cycle their small spell, it's just... It's, it's not a good decision for them. Okay, so we played against a P.E.K.K.A. player last time with the cannon version and absolutely demolished them. Let's see how it works with Tesla. Is it going to be the exact same outcome? Can't wait to find out. Let's get it, baby. So he's going to spam a ton of stuff on the other side. I think we can get away with a log, guards, and then... I don't know if I need to drop anything else besides guards, to be honest. Can guards completely counter the P.E.K.K.A. as well? There's a chance that we can do the dance with a P.E.K.K.A. counter of a simple Guard's Electro Spirit. Oh no. I hate that Ram Rider, man. It's going to force out way more Elixir from me. I don't know. Wait. He doesn't drop anything else with it. He doesn't go for a Bandit. He doesn't go for a Rail Ghost. He didn't force out anything at all. <laughs> Most of the time when you see a Ram Rider coming at you, you can't just get away with a Tesla in this predicament and this placement. Because if you do, then they just latch on with a Bandit and then you have to go for a Valkyrie after. And then it becomes kind of a spirally game. So he's going to cycle Dark Prince in the back. He should be able to lock onto all of the goblins at once if he timed it perfectly, but he doesn't. 
Beautiful. The Valkyrie is going to force out an Electro Wizard too. And that means I can get away with a Electro Spirit, Guards, and... No, I can just Princess and Electro Spirit. I, I think I'm fine. I don't know if that Dark Prince gives him any damage at all. It shouldn't hit my tower. It shouldn't hit the Princess. We're vibing. Let's go, baby. So he's going to ban it on top of the Princess. I'm going to Valkyrie. That was very predictable because that was the only card he had in cycle, so he had to do it. The Goblin Barrel off to the side. If he goes in for a Barb Barrel, maybe he misses one of the Goblins so I can lock onto the tower there. If you Snowball and you activate King Tower, then I look like a fool. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to activate King Tower for whatever reason. Can we get a Tesla down and protect the Princess? Princess, my pride and joy don't die on me. Let's go. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this luck. Look at this luck. It is flowing through my veins, and I don't think my opponent has ever experienced this type of pain. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This opponent is never going to be happy with himself after that one. And I can start to rocket cycle the P.E.K.K.A. This is what I did with the cannon. When I had cannon, I can just rocket cycle the P.E.K.K.A. and never take any damage from the counter push. Let's see if we can test the waters here. I'm literally playing with my food a little bit, but that's what I want to do. That's how we do what we do. All right, we're going to go in for our Tesla. He might go in for a Magic Archer in the middle. I would expect that to happen. That's what most people will do. I want to go in for guards here. If you Lightning, that's a great play on his end. Uh, th especially because the Valkyrie is going to get like stunned so far away. So I'm not going to get any value from it. But it is what it is. Oh, the King Tower activation! <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I was hoping that would happen. I didn't want to say it, but... Like, <laughs> it actually worked. I didn't want to curse myself. You guys already know, nine times out of ten in videos, whenever I say something's going to happen, it never happens. So, very lucky and happy that that worked. I'm able to go in for the Electric Spirit, shut most of our opponent's stuff down. I think the P.E.K.K.A. will get a hit on our tower if I don't log. Ooh, see? See, right when I say that, right when I say that, I screw myself over every single time without fail. Won't get a hit if I log. And then it still gets the hit, you know? I'm, I am a potato. It is what it is. A V, how a V. Ambulance! Call an ambulance! He's probably gonna lightning me soon, so I'm just gonna cycle really quickly, get to a guards, and go for a really high Tesla here. If he's not gonna log it, then we're gonna vibe. Yeah, he doesn't have bar so there's no way for him to finish that off. I'm gonna log on top of the Bandito Despacito. Good die here. Goblin's in the back. That means that it is not going to be ranged that we can go in for a rocket log yet. So we still need a little bit more damage. For, but for all intents and purposes, I have won this game. 12 seconds later. So this game took a lot longer than the other one. I didn't have cannon, so I wasn't able to get those juicy elixir trades on defense. And I had to be a lot more patient with my rocket cycle. I really enjoyed playing both of the log bait decks today, but there was a clear winner. The cannon version allowed me to have a faster cycle so I could do whatever I wanted against the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band player. Literally, no matter what I did, I was going to win that game. And I was able to even beat someone that had a Lava Hand Balloon deck, despite him having a matchup that you would think that would be impossible because my cannon doesn't shoot up. The Princess version felt a lot less consistent, whereas the Dark Goblin did damage no matter what. I'm never going to forgive that Princess for forgetting to target the minions, losing that game instantly against Giant Graveyard. Logbait is a high skill deck, so if you make a slip up like that, you're gonna lose a lot of games. But as you guys saw against Bridge Band, when you had the cannon version, you could overcommit and defend no matter what. Let me know down below in the comment section which of the two decks you preferred. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily content, and have an amazing rest of your day. Oh,